With Colin Trevorrow dropping information recently on Isla Sorna, Site B is back into the limelight once again, and we're going to go over the details of what that can mean for Jurassic World Dominion right now. August 7th, 2020, Colin Trevorrow gave Jurassic Outpost a sweet picture teasing the return to an interesting part of Jurassic Park history in Jurassic World Dominion, an image of a cold storage box for Isla Sorna, Site B. Now I'm late to this party, but theories have been buzzing and some of my speculations have yet to be said. First, there is a very good argument for this picture being from what will be a flashback scene in Jurassic World Dominion. If you want to explore that theory, which is quite convincing actually, check out Clayton Fioriti's video on it by clicking the card above. But my theory, and honestly my hope, is that this picture alludes to Isla Sorna being brought back into the Jurassic franchise and used in the present setting for Jurassic World Dominion. This theory has evidence beginning with the fact that the storage box itself is almost identical to the storage box we see in 2015's Jurassic World when InGen was evacuating the lab on Isla Nublar. Now yes, the filmmakers at Universal could just be repurposing materials and are going to try and say the storage boxes from 1993 and 2015 are pretty much the same, minus the LED display on the inside cover, but to me, that just seems lazy. Colin Trevorrow has shown he will spare no expense <laughs> when it comes to the production of Jurassic movies up to this point, so why would he skimp now? I do believe there is another engine base on Isla Sorna, and I'm hoping that this will be explored further in Dominion. Also, since the original pictures of the cold storage unit have been dropped, new pictures of the JWD set have been released, courtesy of the New York Times. One picture shows a cage full of compies with someone I assume to be a prop designer, but the second picture seems much more convincing of the return to Isla Sorna. The second picture of note in the New York Times article is that of Owen Grady and another character walking through a forest of redwood trees with chilling Lost World vibes. The former of two pictures seems to be alluding to the premise of possible poaching being part of Dominion's plot, but the picture of Owen Grady and the other character gives me reason to believe this is actually Isla Sorna, based on the Jurassic franchise's history with the island. Because of the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, some might say this is the actual Redwood Forest from California, which is also where the Lockwood Mansion is located close to in the Jurassic Universe. But because of the deep connection to Isla Sorna to the rest of the Jurassic story, and the picture of the cold storage box with Isla Sorna Site B labeled on the bottom, I believe Isla Sorna will be featured in Jurassic World Dominion. And all of this brings us to the question, why would Isla Sorna be in Jurassic World Dominion? This gets to my speculation. According to the Dinosaur Protection Group website, a website created for promoting Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, after Masrani Global bought InGen and all of John Hammond's properties in 1998, experimental projects were started on Isla Sorna. We know this is how the Spinosaurus and the Quilled Raptors were created and how they got on the island before the events of JP3. All this establishes the fact of InGen having an established base of operations after the Masrani Global buyout. Of course, during the events of JP3, we see only a deserted island and even a deserted lab where some presume the new raptors and even the Spinosaurus were bred from. But this doesn't mean it was the end of Mizrani Global's affairs on the island. According to the book The Evolution of Claire, dinosaurs were brought over from Isla Sorna to Isla Nublar for the new park. This shows Mizrani Global's investment in Isla Sorna up to 2004 when Simon Mizrani had the dinosaurs from Site B transported to Isla Nublar, but then left Sorna abandoned, according to the Dinosaur Protection Group website. This doesn't mean the island could never have been revisited, however. As we see in 2015's Jurassic World, a lot of things happened in InGen without Simon Mizrani's knowledge. Who's to say that InGen didn't build another research center on Isla Sorna? Which leads us to the last part of my theory, Henry Wu. Henry Wu is the common thread throughout this journey. Being the chief genetic engineer of InGen, Henry Wu had a lot of power in the company, and he was aware of everything involved with the dinosaur hybrid program, including the deeper projects Simon Mizrani himself didn't know about. After he was struck of his credentials after 2015's Jurassic World, Henry Wu went to work for the Lockwood Estate to create the Indoraptor, but we all know how well that venture went. 
The last we've seen of Wu was him being dragged off screen and presumably into hiding to avoid the legal fallout of the Lockwood disaster in Fallen Kingdom. But where exactly did he go? Honestly, I can't say where he went for sure, but who's to say he didn't go to a secret research base on Isla Sorna? Under his direction, Wu could have easily had a facility created on Site B when he was the chief genetic engineer with InGen, and he could have hidden away the paperwork to keep it secret. It makes sense he would have taken advantage of this facility after his escape from California, but we won't know the fate of Henry Wu or what these pictures officially mean until Jurassic World Dominion comes out next year. If you want to see more Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, or dinosaur content in general, make sure to subscribe to Dino Park Media and click the bell notification button to make sure that you are up to date with all the videos as they release. Thanks for watching guys, and also, know that you're loved.